Hi YouTube, this is just going to be a deck profile on my locals winning deck, Light Sworn, Light Ray Chaos. Two Judgment Dragon. Uh, I don't run three Judgment Dragon because Judgment Dragon's too cloggy that way. I kept drawing two in my hand, I hated it. And we have a lot of surge power. So don't just click the X on the video just because I'm only running two in Light Sworn. Next is two Light Ray Diablos. Light Ray Diablos is the card that I kind of base around the deck. Um, unlike Judgment Dragon, he needs any five different named lights. So while you need one more light than Judgment Dragon does, it's not as picky. So it's not as likely to be dead in your hand. Uh, his effect is you can banish a light monster in your graveyard to select one set card your opponent controls. They reveal it. And you decide if it goes to the top or bottom of the deck. So uh, they have something like Solemn Judgment face down. And they have to make the choice now. Especially if it's their only card, like some people just set Warning or Judgment. If they don't use the effect to negate Diablos' summon, you can use Diablos and just throw it back on top of their deck. And that sucks, it's like they lost a draw. He also has 2800 attack, so he's big. Uh, here's the Chaos portion now. Two Tragodia and the Gores. We need Hand Traps, because we're so... There's a lot of dead cards in our, ha in our hands sometimes, because this is Lice Worn after all. Um, yeah, pretty much it. Blackluster Soldier, avoid the beginning. You can't really have Chaos Lights War without him. Chaos Sorcerer, because he's Chaos Sorcerer. Uh, one Light Pulsar Dragon. We don't run Darkness Metal Dragon in this deck because there's not many dragons that it can bring out. But Light Pulsar is just really good because not only is it a different named Light, it's six star, it's a six level six. And has 2,500 attack. And it's, if it's in the graveyard, you can, from a mill, you can just discard a light and dark to bring it back. So it does help set up, and it does help get rid of dead cards. On to the Light Sworns, we have three Lila. Three Lumina. Lumina at three is amazing. It actually helps with the consistency of this deck a lot. Uh, we don't actually run tour guide because I found just having three Lumina is way good enough because you can oftentimes just go Lumina into Lumina and boom right there. She helps set up for your one turn kills as well. Three Ryko Lightsworn Hunter. Sorry about the glare. And the rest of the Lightswords Jane, Etherin, and Garroth. I might take out a Eclipse Waven for another Garroth, just because Garroth is so good at advantage. Two, Eclipse Waverin. Uh Eclipse Waverin lets you search out for your Light Ray Diablos or your Judgment Dragon. And remember, unlike other Light Sworn Chaos decks, this one because this one has Diablos, you're not as reliant on banishing from your hand from the graveyard. For, for a chaos summon so you can keep in your darks for other chaos monsters and that's one of the other reasons we don't run tour guide because we're not as reliant on having darks in the graveyard and that can actually throw off a lot of people to thunder king ryo thunder king ryo just drops a lot of decks it'll disrupt prophecy when they get good it stops things like six samurai and heroes and mermails get hurt by it so we like it Two Necro Gardena. Uh, you kind of do need Necro Gardenas in this deck because you have Luminas and sometimes you're going to be a bad position or just to stop an opponent from one turn killing you, like Mermail. Uh, Mermail actually really doesn't like this deck because we have a lot of hand traps, we have the Necro Gardenas, we have the Honest. They have a lot of things. We, like, we just have a lot of things that will prevent them from doing the one hit KO. And since they invest everything in the board, they. They just can't deal with next turn if you bring out something huge. As, even with the Vis Spears, because their guys are just tiny compared to ours. We only run two Garden up because, again, Garden is just too cloggy to run at three. Two Effect Veiler. Effect Veiler is really good at stopping monster effects, and she's a light, so we use her. Two Tetsukiyomi. Tetsukiyomi is one of the MVPs in this deck. She'll flip face down your opponent's monsters for your Light Ray Diablos. Uh, I went up against an agent player and they threw down Christia and they asked, are you going to scoop? And I'm like, no, Tsukiyomi, flip down Christia. Uh, she's all, she, she, she was bad at one, 
for this deck because it was so inconsistent. You couldn't really do anything or build it around because you're always milling her. But now that she's at two, she's really consistent to get in the hand. And don't forget, you can use her to flip down a Raikou. So you can bring back uh, Raikou on your side of the field or any monster on your side of the field. So you can bring back um, Raikou with Jane. I mean, sorry, Raikou with Lumina and to Tsukuyomi Raikou, and you can go defensive. And last but not least, Honest, because we need Honest. It's Light's Warren. Spells, three solar recharge. Heavy Storm, Dark, Dark Hole, Charge of Light Brigade, and Monster Reborn. So we're running No Amistees or Forbidden Lance's main because we have a ridiculous amount of spell and trap removal already. We have three Lila and three Raikou, and Lumina can bring back the Lila. So I didn't see a point, especially since do you really want to mill MSTs? No. Do you want to mill Lances? No. It's just better to side those in in game two if somebody's playing Skill Drain. And we're okay if they have Skill Drain because we have a lot of big beaters ourselves. Three Mystical Space Typhoon for the side. We're in the side deck now. Uh, MSTs for the side because, well, obviously you have to have those. Here's controversial is Jinzo. I run Jinzo over Decree because Decree sucks to mill. Jinzo's a dark. He doesn't suck to mill. I'm obviously not going to side in Jinzo against decks using Skill Drain, but other trap heavy decks, they don't expect it. We special summon a lot, so we can get we contribute for Jinzo pretty easily. And Jinzo is just a good card. Here we go, another more of the Light Ray engine. You don't think I'm going to call this deck Light Ray without without having more than just two in it. Uh, we have Light Ray Diabolus in the side. I take out the, sorry, Light Ray Deadliest in the side. I take out Light Ray Diabolus, one of my guys' decks that rely on field spells like Madolce or Gravekeeper. Uh, a lot of times Gravekeeper will just think they have it all over you since you can't finish in the graveyard. You just side these in in game two and you'll just destroy them because any deck that relies on graveyard, even Dark World, well, Light Ray Diablos, first off, you special summon him by having, by having four lights in the graveyard. Unlike other Light Rays, Diad <laughs> Light Ray Diadlius doesn't care if they have the same name. Uh, so you have two Rekos, two Luminas, just bring out Deadlius and destroy their field spell. That's the effect. You can destroy a field spell and two cards in the field. So he goes plus three. Like, he's instant win against those decks. Especially Midolce. What do you do? Two Soul Drains, one of the rare traps I run in this side to deal with Mermails and Dark Worlds to an extent. Two DD Crow, deal with Dark World and rival Light Swarm matchups, or just anything that relies on the graveyard. Two Gemini Imps, I really don't like Dark Worlds, I guess. Uh, light Ray Sorcerer, again, this is going to be the last Light Ray you see for this deck anyway. Um, I like to side it against Macro Rabbit or just things that like to vanish because he's he can still ram into Dolka. He's 2300. By, by having three banished light monsters, you can special summon him and you can shuffle one of those banished light monsters into your deck to banish a monster in the field, but he can't attack. He's just okay attack. And last but not least, we have Cyber Dragon. Cyber Dragon's just really good because Chimera Tech and Cyber Dragon Instant Chaos Fuel. He's a different named Light, so if we mill him, we don't care. That's great. If we have him in our hand and they don't have any machines out, whatever, that's great. And now on to the extra deck. Okay, extra deck. Gotcha, gotcha, Gairetsu. We're running two Raikou. You might need him. And the attack boost. Or just to stall out the game, so why not? Acid Golem. Because Acid Golem will just win you games. You can go Lumina into Lumina, drop something like Diablos or Judgment Dragon, or even Jane in some cases, or Ethern, and then special summon your big guys, and then use your two Luminas to special summon Acid Golem, and then you're attacking for like 8,000 right there. Levier to bring back your banished Light Sworns, make them pay for bottomlessing your Lila. Uh, Giga Brilliant. He's a different named Light. He, this one's also from the um, Zexelton, so that's good. I used the original of the tournament at that time, but uh, this was the Zexel Temple. 
Uh, yeah, I'm normally using Giga Brilliant because it's just a different named light for our light rays. Tem Tempo, I just like it. It's good. Zen Mains for when you got to be defensive. I don't really use this card that much in this deck because you're pretty much going all in or going home, especially in this fast paced meta game. Okay, here's the newest card I put in, and this wasn't in my tournament when I played it Star Liege Paladinamo. Um, it takes two level four light monsters to make, and so it's a rank four Xeed. It has 2,000 attack, and its effect is you can detach both of your materials and select one of your opponent's monsters. Its effect's negated, and its attack becomes zero. If this card you control is sent to the graveyard, you draw a card. Uh, this card is amazing because the effect negation and attack lowering is permanent. So if you negate something they were like a huge boss monster, that you're in the top deck or something, or, you know, just a huge boss monster like BLS... Uh, and they mirror force when you try to attack into it, well, you're still safe because BLS isn't going to get his attack back or his effect, so he can't even banish. He's going to be like a 2,500 wall, and you'll get to draw one because Paladin and Mo's effect. Shockmaster, we can get out level 4s fairly well, so it's also a light. Steel Swarm Roach. Uh, we don't like the Chaos Dragon matchup too much. They're faster than us, and also... Any other decks, really, that don't like Roach. Utopia. He is a light, so I like him. Sometimes you'll be in the position where you'll have a Trigodia and a level 4 light monster, and you need a big beater. And you can't bring up Paladonimo because Paladonimo needs two lights, so we go for Utopia instead. Papalier Operative. He is good. And since we can go for some OTKs in this deck, you know, Light Swarms can sack. Even this version of Light Swarm can sack. Uh, we'll go for a Papular Operative. She's light, so good bonus. Abyss Dweller. A lot of people are going to be like, why are you playing Abyss Dweller? It's way too slow, and it's not the right typing for this deck. Uh, I don't like Mermails and Dark Worlds. And a lot of times, if you can bring this guy out, he might die the next turn guaranteed, but because they had to get around him and waste their turn, or they couldn't go for game, you can go for game next turn. Especially with, and if you can't, they really aren't ready for the light rays. Like, they're not ready for Diablos. So you can just throw something or make them waste their Abyss Fear. Oh, my stroke. We don't always have Tsukiyomi in the hand. I don't always use Tsukiyomi, but when I don't, I use my stroke. Uh, he'll flip a monster face down, which lets you use Diablos' effect. He can also avoid destruction, and having 2300 is really good. Sometimes you can just get a dark in the graveyard if you need a chaos monster. Uh, I put Photon Strike Bouncer in just because there are times we can get out two level 6s. We have Trigodias, we have Light Pulsar, that's already good enough. There's also the Sorcerer, Chaos Sorcerer, so why not? And our last card, which you... Just take a guess. You saw the Cyber Dragon. It's Chimeratic Dragon. Like I said, this one's dark. Perfect compliment sometimes. Play Cyber Dragon. Send it to the graveyard and all your opponent's machines. Chimeratic. Chimeratic's dark. So if they kill Chimeratic, you've got instant chaos fuel right there. So that is my deck profile for my Light Swarms that I won with. I'm pretty happy with the deck. Uh, feel free to modify. Give it a try. It's actually pretty good. Okay, see you YouTube.